thought the guys really responded um, after a hot one yesterday. Uh, our energy uh, was really good today. Uh, started to see some leadership. The most encouraging thing after two days now, and again, we're only playing in shorts, so we're, we're good at two below the waist, but, but the most encouraging thing is you can see that our guys have really developed since our last practice in April. Um, their knowledge of what we're trying to do schematically, the way that we want to practice is, is far ahead of where it was even in the spring game in April 16th, which is good. So in essence, we don't have to go backwards and reteach what we taught in April. We can really go forward and get ready to attack the season that's coming our way. Have there been any position group, position groups so far in your time here that have maybe surprised you? Well, I, it'd be hard to be surprised, cause, you know, because you don't have much expectation before you come in. Um, so we're, we're really, we, we don't, I know this, we don't feel like we've got a part in our defense that's that's arrived, you know, that, that's really made it. So we're trying to just, just grind on these guys and, and, and push them hard every day to, to see what they can become. And, and, and to their credit, they want it. You know, this is a team that, that right now wants to be pushed hard and, and wants to see how good it can be. Early impressions of Adrian Colbert out there? Adrian's done a nice job. You know, it, it's the things that we thought he could provide um, in terms of his maturity. Uh, he, he's a guy that already knows how to practice full speed, um, knows how to work, um, high sense of urgency and everything he does. Uh, and, then, and then you see his physical skills, he's got length and speed, which are always valuable in the secondary. Um, made a couple plays yesterday, intercepted a pass, caused an interception uh, with, with, a, with the PBU. So um, he's a guy I think that early on, the, neat, the, the best part for me is that the locker room has embraced him, you know, which is always kind of a weird thing. And I think, and, and I think they're, they're, there's two things that everyone's going to respect ultimately, and that's your work ethic and your toughness. And, and AC's done a good job of showing both of those early on. His Maybe familiarity with, with, with what you like to do and what Coach Banda likes to do, how much has that helped him? I think it helps, you know, but, but ultimately that's not the most important thing. There's only so many coverages in the world, right? It's man or zone. There's only a couple of zones that we can all play. So I think that certainly gave him a little bit of a boost, but I think the bigger thing is just understanding the expectations, how we want to practice, how we want to work. Uh, we know he was coached by really good coaches at, at the University of Texas. So um, I think all of that is what, is what really has helped him coming in. What's your philosophy on how many defensive ends you want to run in and out, linebackers even maybe? If we can play if, what, if we can play with 22 players on defense by the time the first quarter ends, we feel like that is not a luxury, that's a necessity in this day and age of tempo offense. Um, now, it's not the YMCA, everybody just can't play for fun, you know what I mean? But that's what we're ultimately trying to find. We're trying to find a two deep that we can roll in waves. For sure we have to have eight up front. Um, and then linebackers, I'll play as many linebackers as I can possibly find. Um, I think, you know, I equate it's like playing a full court press in basketball. If you want to play, a, you know, if you want to play a relentless style of defense, it's hard to play every snap. Your human instinct is to rest. And if you rest, full court press doesn't work very well. So we got to have, we have the ability to come at waves at the offense. That's when I ask about the nickel, Jamal and Jaquan working in there. I mean, what do you sort of see happening at that spot? Well, we don't even know yet. Yeah. Uh, we, have, we haven't been able to even work a nickel yet because we're still really trying to identify who our top five DBs are. Um, we're trying to identify who our top three linebackers are. The first question is, is your third linebacker better than your fifth DB? Um, because you know, there's some situations you, won't make, you may go nickel because of down and distance. There's some situations personnel may go nickel. Well, that's, but it's got to be flexible to your personnel. So once you identify who your best personnel is, then you start crafting the packages uh, to play with your best people on the field. Through two days, what's your impression of the cornerbacks? You know, obviously, they big plays in the spring and that kind of thing. But for you, it was a lot of effort. I mean, are you seeing that? Yeah, no, I, I do. I think our guys are working hard. I think you can tell that they're in good condition from what they've done in the summertime. I do think that adding uh, Colbert and adding an, an older figure is a guy that has, has forced him to compete at a different level. Um, the best coach in the world is coach competition. You know, so anytime someone's got uh, competition for playing time, they're going to raise their, their game. And but it's but it's good natured. I think all those guys with corn, uh, red wine, all those guys are challenging each other to, to as as a unit to, to to really become a strength of our team. So now again, it's only been two days, and and there's still a lot of practices left, but. But, but I'm encouraged with what I've seen so far. As far as a, a, a three and four, you know, we, we, we've seen you know, corn, and obviously Adrian's going to be in that mix, red wine too. But right. Three, four, five, I mean, have you seen any? any I haven't seen enough from a consistency standpoint. Again, under two days. Not that I haven't seen it. It's just, it's, it's, it's right now, it's, it's NA, you know what I mean? We, we just don't know yet. I know it's just two days, but any guys stand out first couple days, just things that, doing, doing things that may be impressive? You know, as a whole, what I'm impressed of, is, what I'm impressed with, is our knowledge of the scheme. There's more communication pre-snap. Guys are calling out 
they're talking to each other. When do you talk? You talk when you're confident. If you don't know the answer in class, you mumble or you don't say anything at all. So I can see mentally um, our guys up front, some of the linebackers are speaking more. In terms of who's impressing, again, when you're in shorts, <laughs> we can all play defense in shorts a little bit. You know what I mean? So, so I think the really challenge, you know, we, I always look at, you know, today, these last two days are almost like a review session. Mm -hmm. And in a way, it gets real tomorrow. When, when we start banging, I think, I think we'll know more about who we are.